YouTubers, Hangster here, and uh, well, better late than never. I'm going to show off what you what I got uh, back in October for um, uh, Pop in a Box collection. So um, this is what I got back in uh, most about late. So let's take it out of the box, and it's none other than. The Tenth Doctor with and Pop figure. This is um, if you remember, well after he regenerated into the Tenth Doctor, he got in a sword fight, and his uh, opponent cut off his hand. Luckily for the Doctor, he was still in uh, his regeneration phase, so he was able to grow another hand. So he took the original hand and stuck it inside a preservation capsule and pretty much just, he just hung around the, the TARDIS for a while. Um, then he was, the doctor was hit by a uh, blaster beam from a Dalek and was pretty much forced to regenerate. And right in the middle of his regeneration, he transferred the energy from the regeneration into that hand. So that basically he would not have to regenerate into a whole new body and mind and everything. He just had to just heal his, he just used enough energy to heal himself. And, um, and then the, uh, then shortly after that, the uh, container was busted in front of a human. And then the hand fully regenerated into a full clone of the Doctor, except, of course, the clone has one heart as opposed to two hearts, like a normal Time Lord. So pretty much just to say that the uh, that version of the Doctor does not, is not a Time Lord. He will not be able to regenerate or anything like that. But um, this is the Tenth Doctor, of course, played by David Tennant. And... Uh, Cute as a, you know, cute as normal here. And of course, on the back here, the uh, collection also includes not just uh, 355, the 10th Doctor, but also the 356, 11th Doctor, slash Mr. Clever. Kind of makes him look like the Doctor has been uh, assimilated to the Borg. Then we have the 12th Doctor with a guitar from uh, last season. Then we have the War Doctor, and then Devros, the creator of the dialects. So, that was pretty cool. I got a hold of him. I got a growing Doctor Who um, pop collection. I got, most of my pops are Doctor Who characters. Speaking of which, I um, just want to show, the, show off these extras here. I went to my local uh, GameStop. Where I've been, I pick up a lot of good pops there um, a few days ago, and I got a hold of none other than the War Doctor, played by John Hurt in the uh, 50th anniversary special, The Day of the Doctor. And uh, this, of course, was the Doctor between the 8th and 9th Doctors, in which he forgo being called the Doctor and he became a warrior. And of course, in his timeline, he wound up destroying Gallifrey to stop the dialects. But uh, in the, in the uh, storyline, he of course teams up with the 10th and 11th Doctors, uh, David Tennant and Matt Smith, to uh, find an alternative way of stopping the dialects, which of course was that the... Um, they, they, all the Doctor's incarnations um, sent the planet of Gallifrey into a one moment in time, frozen in time, and then when it disappeared, of course, the Daleks blasted themselves into oblivion. But uh, actually, I do have an action, a regular action figure of the War Doctor. So, and of course, well, I got this Friday. Um, in the mail, I got this from eBay because oddly enough, the uh, Pop of the Month Club, like you can go on there and order Pops figures, 
final figures to come in. But uh, oddly enough, this was not, neither this or the other ones in the set was not featured on the website. Yeah, we can't even go in there and tell them that, you know, I, I got one. Or, you know, what one on the wish list. But this is just in time for today's election. This, of course, is the election, November 8th, 2016. And this is the Donald... <laughs> Let's get turn this. Get some more light in here. Um, the Donald Trump pop. Looks just about like him in a pop form here. And, of course, you have the sign here says pop the vote campaign 2016 road to the white house number two donald trump he's got a little button here that says vote trump 2016 of course that's what i'll be doing later today and in this uh, special selection of course I have three figures in that um number one i don't know what uh, of course show, i guess they're showing favoritism here uh hillary clinton then number two donald trump and number three Bernie Sanders, that little socialist. But, uh, oddly enough, uh, when I ordered this from eBay uh, a little over a week ago, more than a week ago, uh, they said I was, supposed, I was going to get this on Monday, which is yesterday. Well, I ended up getting this on Friday, so that, that looks like a good sign. This might be a good sign that Trump will win the presidency. And, um, and all. But, uh, just uh, let's show off. Everything here. Oh, the books, the books, the books. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, here's my latest pops. And of course, uh, I'll put up a link fraud to go onto the website to if you're interested in signing up. Of course, you can get more than one pop a month. I just got the lowest priced deal, but um, of course you get pops anywhere you get. Geez, they're not selling them in Walmart for crying out loud. But uh, just uh, of course, uh, hope you enjoy that. We'll have, uh, hopefully have another pop review at the end of November. And of course, uh, today go out and vote. And if you have any sense to you, vote for Donald Trump. We don't need uh, Hitlery to. Uh, when do we? <laughs> so uh, stay tuned here for more reviews, um, um, uh, presidential plugs, and whatnot here on the Multiverse. See you. I'm Hillary Clinton, and I approve this message. I am an idiot. This is the Hangster, and I approve this message. I also approve these candidates. In more news, Trump, Trump, Trump.